Maybe you've been clicking update many, many times, tearing your hair out, saying, when is Audition going to add some new features? Today is that day. Everything you'll see is demonstrated in the beta version, but by the time you click update, it'll actually be in the real live release. Uh, so here we are in the multi-track, which is where we'd have multiple audio tracks, say a host on one track and a guest on another track, so we can go through and edit. Now what I can do is add new multi-track markers to individual waveforms. I can't believe this wasn't a feature before. Just by hitting M, on a selected waveform. Look at that, marker 01 goes inside that waveform. And look at this, I've got a cool edit, which highlights if I go up to the marker there, I can move it around. So let's zoom in and place it exactly on that little bit I want to edit out. That's really why we'd use markers in Audition, is to highlight bits that we want to cut out. Someone swears, someone goes, uh, and you want to cut it. The same is true if I go to this waveform, I can hit the M key and boom, gives me a marker there. And they have separate marker names, marker 01 here, marker 01 there. And I can also do a multi-track wide marker. So I could say place a marker here by clicking off all waves. So I'm selected just on the multi-track. And now that is what the behavior was before. Multi-track marker only and nothing inside the waveforms that are as easy to move around as this. And I can go ahead and place a second marker if I want there, which is fantastic. So how do we organize all these markers? Well, you'll notice if I double click and go to this waveform, you'll see those markers are there inside the waveform. If I double click this one, that marker is there, but the multi-track marker is nowhere to be seen. So the previous use wasn't really that helpful because if I'd go ahead and say block out all of this, and delete it like so, and then nudge all this audio along, look, that multi-track marker still stays in the same place. So if I went through and placed 100 markers in my multi-track, they're all out of sync. So Audition has really solved a lot of a, an issue here by doing individual waveform markers in the multi-track view. Can't believe it wasn't available before. Uh, by the way, just for a side note here, if you go ahead and ripple delete, so that's Command Shift and Delete, or Control Shift and Delete on PC, look, the waveform markers do nudge up, but now you've got individualized waveform markers. Why would you want to do a multi-track marker? Okay, markers. Pretty excited about that. And the markers window is available here or in the window menu up here. And then just look for markers and you'll see whatever you've got selected. So if I've got say this one or this one or whatever I'm selecting, the markers for that particular thing show up in the markers window. So I've got the second track here, the guest speech track, and you can see two markers. But if I select my track, only one marker appears. And of course I can change the duration. So I can select a time duration. I can change the type of marker if I'm into that kind of stuff, but to be honest, I never do. Mark is absolutely fantastic. But what else I hear you cry? What's the second new feature in Adobe Audition for early 2023 podcasters are going to love? Well, do you know how I've said to you, if you're going to save your editing time, speed everything up. Just edit on 50% or 100% or 150% one way or the other. Just make things faster, right? So I advise using the JKL keys as you play back. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to hit post play. Processing live streams. And then I'm going to hit L. And then L again. It's, it's just chipmunk. <laughs> it's nothing else but chipmunk. How am I supposed to understand and edit that? Well, now the second new feature is that you can change the variation of how much that increase or decrease in speed happens. And you can do this by going into Audition Preferences, uh, which you'll find right here under Settings in the Mac, or Control or Command and Comma will get you there as well. And look for Playback and Recording here. And now you've got JKL Shuttle Speed. By default, it's one times, which is useless in my opinion. Two times, probably even more useless, certainly for speech editing. But now we can go up in 0.1 of a speed or half a speed, which is super handy for podcast editing. Let's show the 0.1. Let's click OK. Let's play back and start hitting the L key to speed up. Um, or uh, again, sort of post-processing oh, that's helpful. live streams that we repurpose and you know all oh, about that helpful. to the various channels. Um, yeah, it's it's used for every facet of any kind of audio that I... That and I, I can go on. back. That's amazing. And I love the fact that Adobe Audition is and I can make myself very deep as well. I'd advise 0 0.1 or 0 0.5. It's really, really handy and helpful. I think it'd be even better if they didn't change the pitch of the voice, so they sped it up, uh, but kept the pitch constant. Now, I understand, I've been told, that apparently that's being worked on in the background. That'd be super helpful for podcast editing. But right now, 
that is a setting you should change straight away the moment you install Audition because uh, it's super handy. And the last new feature for 2023, let's go to the effects rack and notice on my host track here, track one, I've got two effects and on track two I've got nothing. Now I want to copy and paste those effects. I want to take that dynamics processing. I want to take that really cool EQ and I want to put it on my guest track. This is a common thing that we want to solve. Now in the past I've solved this bit of a hack really by going to the mixer and then just dragging and dropping on the mixer like that you see that that works quite well I'm gonna undo that now copy and paste is available in the effects rack in audition again why was this not available before I do not know but now it is so I can click say dynamics and I can hit command or control and C and then I can go onto my secondary track and I can hit command or control and V and there it is copy paste wasn't available before now it is not only can I add it as a track effect I could also add it as a clip effect so if I had one particular part of a clip let's just isolate this particular clip here I can actually paste it as a clip effect as well look and then that processor is only on that selected piece of clip that I've chosen on track two not the whole track as a track effect track effects affect everything on the track clip effects affect only one individual little clip like that like the one i've cut out there and popped out on the waveform oh and in case you're wondering yes you can do it with multiple effects just hold down shift select a couple of effects dynamics and parametric equalizer in this case go over to the secondary track and then hit Control or command v boom so with markers saving you time when you're editing playback speed saving saving you time when you're playing back and trying to edit, and copy and paste of effects, saving you time going into mixer views and doing all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Some pretty cool updates, and I hope that it's a sign of things to come. By the way, if you're really into Adobe Audition, you should probably watch this video that's showing up on your screen right now. It's really cool, and it'll help you get even better at editing in Adobe Audition.